Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today I'll be showing you guys and demonstrating for you guys how to properly wash, clay, and polish indoors, anywhere, anytime. So anyways, let's get started. So today I have this black BMW. If you guys walk on close, you guys can see how filthy this BMW actually is. And under this layer of dirt and grime, there's actually a lot of amounts of scratches and swirls. So today we're going to take the wash process, the clay process, and the polishing process so we can revive the paint, bring back the shine, and nonetheless have a mirror rolling around on four wheels. To start off this detail on this black BMW, we're going to start off by washing it using waterless wash, which is EcoSmart waterless wash. EcoSmart waterless wash, it is a waterless wash method that one, it's going to clean, shine, and protect your paint all in one easy step. This is for anybody that lives in an apartment, does not have access to water, EcoSmart water this wash will be a perfect solution for you. So how do you use it? Before anything, you'll just grab it, you'll shake up the product to properly mix in the formula, then you'll go to area and you'll mist it. And what I like to do is I like to let it saturate the dirt and grime. Meanwhile, I'll walk over to get my fluffer towels, microfiber towels. They're 17 by 24, so they're a pretty big towel. They have silk line edging that sets chemical guys all around it. It's a phenomenal design. They will not scratch, they're silk line banding, and nonetheless, whenever you're using a new towel, we always recommend ripping it off the tag to avoid scratches and swirls. So I'll put the tag off to the side, and before I forget, all of our microfiber towels are actually 70-30 blend, which is a premium blend. This fluffer microfiber towel allows the user to have two different types of pile, from one being a long pile, and two for it being a short pile. What I like to use the long pile for is especially to use it on water washes, quick detail sprays. So one, it can capture all the dirt and grime into a larger pile. And whenever you wipe it down, it does not scratch. So I'll fold it into like so. I'll grab my microfiber towel, place it. And as I wipe, I am rolling my wrist. This is going to avoid scratches and swirls. And if you guys look closely, that is a dirt line. So now I'll grab my finger, place it on the dirt, wipe in one direction. And you guys can see it's dirty. So now I'll flip over to the clean side and I'll wipe one more time. And you guys might say, Henry, why did the paint streak on you? And the reason why is because EcoSmart Water Dish Wash is formulated with wax. The wax is going to leave a shine, a protection behind. So now you just get a clean side of your microfiber towel. You go back to the area you're working on and you'll just simply buff it right off. And you guys can see EcoSmart Water Dish Wash gave this vehicle an amazing shine. But now we want to further our shine even more. So that's how we're going to be polishing it out using the Torque R and our V-Line compounds and polishes. So after you finish cleaning the surface of your vehicle, now it is time to move on to the clay bar process to remove any contamination. So as always, I have to give you guys a 50-50 so I can show you guys a before and an after. So I'll just grab my tape, place it down. Excuse me if it's not straight, but I am doing my best. So now that the tape is laid down, now it's time to move on to our clay bar process. The clay bar process today is going to consist of the OG clay bar and clay luber. So clay luber one, it's a synthetic lubricant that's going to help your clay bar, clay block, whatever clay system you're using, glide across the surface of the vehicle without causing clay marring or scratches. So now it is time to get our clay bar. So whenever you're using a clay bar, we always recommend ripping off a small portion. Do not use the whole entire clay bar just in case if you drop it, you go back, you get an extra piece. So like this, you're not out of luck when if you drop the whole entire piece. So just rip off a small portion. You guys can see how much of a bar I have left. I'll put that back in its little cubby, put that away in a safe place. So now I'll grab my clay bar. I'll knead it out into a patty, a three width finger patty, if I should say correctly. Once it's already kneaded out into a three width patty, now we're gonna walk over to the surface of the vehicle. But before anything, I start clay boring. I just wanna show you guys that this vehicle actually has contamination. So you guys listen closely, all of that sandy effect, that is not my hand. That is the paint that it has contamination. It might have overspray, but if I look closely, there's actually little bits of sand because this owner actually lives by the beach. So sand over time can penetrate into the clear coat, damage the surface of the paint, and one, cause it to look dull and not glossy. So this is why we're gonna take the step of clay boring with the OG clay bar. The OG clay bar is a light to medium clay bar. And then the lubricant is going to help me glide the clay bar across the surface of the vehicle without harming the surface, without scratching it, and without installing any more swirls. So, so I spray some clay luber onto the paint. I spray some onto my clay bar. I'll go to the area and I'll just glide it side to side. 
And what the clay bar does, it removes all the contamination that is sitting in the pores of the paint. So whenever I go to polish it, there's no contamination and I actually achieve a true cut. What happens if you do not clay bar before polishing? What ends up happening is you're going to be pushing and penetrating all that contamination deeper down into your clear coat. What ends up happening is you're going to end up with more scratches and swirls. So let me just give it one more pass side to side. And you always need to inspect your clay bar as you go. After doing a little small portion, I recommend flipping over your clay bar, inspect it, make sure there's no, there's no more contamination on it. And if there is, like so, if I show you guys correctly, if you guys come close, you guys can see there's contamination on it. All of that, little bits and pieces, has to be remolded. So whenever you go to another part of the vehicle, you're not rubbing the same exact contamination around the whole entire surface. So I am done clay barring. I'll store my clay bar right here for right now. Whenever I am done, clay bar on the whole entire vehicle, I will toss it out because this paint is actually trashed. So I'll grab my microfiber towel, once again, inspect it for any tags because I did grab new ones. So my tags right here, rip it off. I will refold it. I will wipe down the clay luber residue just so I can make sure I can move on to my polishing step. So after removing the clay luber, this is the time when you grab your hand again and you feel the paint to see if there's any more contamination. So after buffing it off, I'll grab my hand and there's no more contamination. Can you guys hear any sand or any graspiness that I should say? No, that is because the paint is contamination free, but now I want to remove the scratches and swirls. So this is why we're gonna be moving on to our polishing step, which is going to consist of the Torque R and the orange medium duty heavy cutting pad and the V-line compounds and polishes. So let me just move this out the way, move my EcoSmart. And now I will put my machine down right there. As you guys can see, the Torque R is a rotary machine. What does a rotary machine? It means it only spins on one axis. So it's not a random orbital. It's only gonna spin in one axis, just like imagine like a, a clock. It just goes in circles and it never gets out of line. So this is a Torque R. A Torque R is going to cut a lot much faster. It's fully digital. If you turn it on, and you turn it off, Torque made a safety feature where you turn it on and turn it off, it resets. So like this, if you walk away and you come back, you will not have on speed 76, it might damage your paint. So like this, you are always taking the caution to save your paint and restore it at all given costs. So now I'll place my machine down. I'll grab the pad I'll be working with, which is going to be the orange meter duty heavy cutting pad. I'll actually flip it over because it's a lot easier to center it. So now that the pad is centered, I'll flip it back down so just like we show you guys. So it's a quantum hex logic pad. The quantum hex logic pad actually has a hole in the middle that one, it's going to cause an even dispersion of heat around the whole entire pad. So like this, you just don't have a heated pad, just dead center. So now what compound or polish am I going to be using? So it's time to inspect the paint. And by me just looking at it, the scratches and swirls are light to medium. So I'll be using something like V36 and V38 just so I could bring back the shine, the reflection, the scratches are not, not so deep. So V36 to start off with the orange video duty heavy cutting pad. So I'll grab my V36, shake up the product. I'll apply five dime size drops to the pad. One, two, three, four, and five. After that, I will grab my polishing pad conditioner, give it one spray. What polishing pad conditioner is going to do, it's going to moisten the pad so like this, you reduce friction, you reduce holograms because your pad is going to be moist. So I'll put the cord over my shoulder. I'll blotch it out on the area I am working on. And you guys might ask me, Henry, can I turn on the machine on the surface of the paint? And the answer is no. So a rotary is completely different from a dual action. A dual action, you could turn it on on the paint, but a rotary, you have to turn it on away from the paint. So You'll just bump it up to speed setting six to start working the product side to side. You'll tur start working it until it turns clear translucent. Once it's clear translucent, you'll grab your clean microfiber towel and buff it right off. So anyways, guys, it's my turn to polish. It's time for you to enjoy your montage.
All right, guys, so we just finished working in V36 with the orange pad, and now it's time to buff it off so I can see the results I'm getting. So I'll grab my clean microfiber towel, just buff off the whole entire section. So as you guys can see, V36 did an amazing job at one, removing the scratches and swirls. Two, it brought out an amazing luster shine. The black looks like a mirror. I mean, you can see my reflection on it. Like, hello guys. So just check out those results. And that is just using a single pad and V36, but I want even more of a finish. I want more of a reflection. So this is why I'll be refining it using V38 Final Polish. So V38 Final Polish, one, it's going to remove any lighter imperfections that V36 couldn't remove. But two, it's going to bring back more of a shine and more of a reflection. So guys, before I forget, this polisher actually has a kit on our website that comes with three different pads, the V-line, the polisher, the backing plates. So like this, you restore your whole entire car anywhere, anytime, doesn't matter what color it is. But now it is time to move on to our next step, which is going to be refining the paint. So I'll remove the polishing pad. And you guys can see, my polishing pad is not over caked with product. A little bit goes a very long way and this whole entire pad can do a whole entire car. So I'll put my pad off to the side. I'll grab my next pad, which is going to be the white polishing pad. Push it back on. It's completely already on there. It's not going to fall off. So now it is time to move on to our next step, which is going to be V38 final polish and the white polishing pad. So shake up the product before using it. And then I will apply five dime size drops on my polishing pad. One, two, three, four, and five. So now it is time to spray pad conditioner on it. Pad conditioner, like I told you guys, it's going to moisten the pad, reduce friction, and reduce holograms around the paint. So I'll walk back over to the paint. I'll put the cord over my shoulder so I won't be banging it up on the paint. I will dab out the product I am working with. And then on the highest speed setting, I will work it in so it turns clear or translucent. And once it turns clear or translucent, I'll grab my fluffer microfiber towel, buff it off, and show you guys the results. So anyways, guys, let's get started. All right guys, so I just finished working in V38 onto the paint and the paint came out phenomenal. Now it's time to show you guys the before and after effect. So guys, check out this result. On the left, you guys can see there's no scratches and swirls whatsoever. There's a mirror reflection compared to the right. You guys can see there's improper wiping right here, the scratches and swirls, and it also has this cloudy effect to it because there's contamination on it. So guys, you guys can also achieve these results at home, anywhere, anytime, by using these steps that I used today. Let's give you guys a quick recap what I did. I used EcoSmart Water Wash just to remove all the dirt and grime that was sitting on the surface of the vehicle. After that, I moved on to the OG clay bar and the clay lubricant. And then finally, I used the torque R with V36 and V38 to get these results today. So guys, you guys might ask me, Henry, whenever I'm polishing around the whole entire vehicle, what do I use whenever my polisher does not reach into an intricate area? And I have the solution for you. Today, you guys can pick up the Hand Hex Logic hand pads. These hand pads contour to intricate areas, such as under your door handle, so you can remove the scratches and swirls. Same exact concept as a foam pad that you use on a polisher. It's just now in hand form. So just apply your product, rub it up side to side, not in circles. This is gonna be up, side to side until the product turns clear. And then you want to refine it using the white light polishing hand hex logic pad. You guys can pick these up on our website also at chemicalguys.com. So guys, if you guys like this video today, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below. If you've tried out the Torque Art, if you're gonna pick it up, let us know exactly what other videos you wanna see, whether it's on polishing, washing, undercarriage, engine bay. Let us know the more you let us know the more videos we have for you guys. As always, I'm Henry. This was Chemical Guys Detail Garage, and thank you for sharing your passion for shine with Chemical Guys.